Good afternoon YouTube, I'm Chucky2009 and I make mostly welding videos. Okay, so if you guys ever ask yourselves the question, hmm, I wonder which of these stick electrodes is going to give me the strongest weld? Well today, we're going to find out. Let's take a look at everything I've got set up. I've got four joints welded out on one side. I got my C-clamps and the BFH and well you guys can probably tell where this one's going. Alright, so let's take a look at what we have here. I've got a 7018 weld, which I did at 140 amps. 7014 weld, which I did at 125 amps. 6013 weld, which I ran at 115 amps. And over here, we have some 6011, which I ran at 95 amps. So basically, as you guys can see, we're just going to start swinging at these with the BFH and uh, see how many wax they can take before they break and we'll have an answer once and for all. Now, um, a little bit about the welds. I ran them all on DC. I ran them all with eighth inch Hobart electrodes and all these pieces of plate are out of the same bigger piece of plate basically. Alright YouTube, here's the first one up. Alright YouTube, so um, yeah, I actually decided against clamping these to the table. I've just gone ahead and tack welded them here. So uh, yeah, let's do it. I meant to do that. <laughs> and down it goes. Alright. Uh, hang on here, you too. Yep. That's just pretty much, it started going and it seemed like it went pretty well, and then it just broke. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sorry that was out of frame, you guys. Um, it would appear that as I'm swinging, I'm actually moving my table. But anyway, this is where we left off with the Beat to Crap 7018. And as you can see, it is pretty much bent over itself. If we look down into the weld, you can see that it's, uh, it's already starting to give, but it's not there yet. So now that I've fixed my tacks, I put in some new tacks rather, I think I'm going to hammer on it a little bit more. Then we'll start prying up on it with this and hammering again. I think it's about done just because even if you can get a weld, think of it like a tack weld. You know, you can bend a tack weld one way. When you start to bend it the other way, that's when it breaks. So, yeah, back at it. You know, sometimes people ask me why I pretty much exclusively burn 7018 and very little of anything else. I'd say that answers it. <laughs> 